If you haven't heard about Bun, the newest JavaScript runtime on the block, well, you've never seen a package manager this fast. And to understand exactly how fast, I have prepared a small experiment. To run this little script that consoles Hello World with Node.js, it takes eight milliseconds. To run it with Bun, it takes only one. Running the script one million times with Bun instead of Node.js would save you over 7,000 seconds which is approximately two hours, or just long enough to watch Big George Foreman, the miraculous story of the once and future heavyweight champion of the world. Talk about 10x development. But in all seriousness, it's not just the speed that makes Bun amazing, it's also a brilliant user experience. So here's your intro crash course to Bun. Starting off with installing it on our local system using the curl command located in the documentation, which we can paste directly into our terminal. Now, as we know, it's a JavaScript runtime. So the first thing we're going to do is initialize a JavaScript file. We can run JavaScript files using bun by typing bun and then inserting the name of the JavaScript file. And if we take a look inside the files, the first thing that bun does really well is the local system read and write syntax. Reading a file is as simple as accessing the bun entity and calling the file method and passing in the directory that isolates our file of choice. From there, if it was a JSON file, we can await the JSON method on our new file. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and edit that now object. And if we wanted to write it, we can simply call the write method, pass in the file as we saved it earlier and the new object or the new data. To take it up a notch, it's also NPM compatible, which means that we can initialize NPM files as we always do. But once they're installed, we can start using the bun installation. It's literally upwards of 17 times faster than any alternative package manager. All we have to do is type bun install and then the npm package inside of our directory. And that will be added to our dependencies inside of our package.json file. We can also add scripts to our npm package. Let's say we had a development script. All we have to do to run a server per se is call bun and then the server.js or the name of our JavaScript server file. If we wanted to hot reload every time a file was changed, we can simply add the dash dash hot flag in our script. And then when it's time to run the script, we just type bun develop or the name of that script inside of our terminal and our server will boot up faster than you can blink. But what if we want to initialize an HTTP server? Well, bun absolutely nails that too. We can initialize a server using the bun.serve method. This method receives an object with the port key and then a fetch function that has an incoming request as an argument. From within, we can access the route or path name from the url.pathname, which itself is created by instantiating a new URL with the request.url. We can have custom responses for each of the different paths. And we can also differentiate the method used for the HTTP request of each of the incoming requests. This allows us to incredibly easy set up our own servers. We don't need any kind of server framework. And in this example, we have a get request for a home path and a post request to the API route. If we're looking to respond, we can simply use a new response to send that back to the client or we could serve up an HTML file using the native read methods available within bun. So you're absolutely spoiled for choice whether or not you're responding with JSON data or an HTML file or just a response code. We can customize the response codes by adding a status to the options object in the new response, or we could even add some status text if we wanted to. And if none of the paths match, we can throw up an error and in conjunction create an error function to handle it and respond with some error code. It makes our server extremely transparent to debug. Once again, it's incredibly fast and the code is so, so simple. Likewise, if we wanted to add some middleware, we could just pop that in up the top before we hit any of our routes, execute whatever body of logic we choose. Likewise, if we wanted to add environment variables, we can simply call bun.env.theName of the environment variable, no.env packages, bun has it all packed in. So this is all crazy. What comes next? If we take a look at their website, we can see there is so much more. It's so simple to start up a WebSocket server. It's literally the same thing as serving up a regular HTTP server. Likewise, if we wanted to hash a password, you guessed it, that comes built in too. We can even write some code that calls a C function, interact with a SQL database, and so much more. 
up another level, we have bun testing, where bun is a test runner that makes the rest look like test walkers. It has a jest compatible syntax, it's crazy fast. We've got lifecycle hooks, snapshot testing, document object model APIs, watch mode, function mocks, and that's just the start. There's loads of examples of everything you could wanna do inside of the documentation, but the best thing of all is that it's so compatible with any Node.js file that you currently have. If you're looking to upgrade, all you do is swap out a couple of commands, convert to the bun native API methods, and that's literally it. You have upgraded, but in doing so, you've gained access to a whole lot more utility, functionality, and general ease of programming use. So overall, it's an absolutely brilliant JavaScript runtime. If you've given it a shot and you're enjoying it, let us know down in the comments what you think of bun and if it's going to replace Node for you. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace.